Hello everyone. I just wanted to say before we start this, thank you so much to getting me to 1,000 subscribers. I know most of it is because of my silly weird duck life videos, but I still feel like it's great that enough people want to watch those old dumb videos and still get enjoyment out of it. And of course, when Duck Life Space comes out on the PC, I'll be there, no questions about it, so hey hey. But until then, I wanted to give you guys, I did a room tour in April, I never did one again since, but I wanted to give you guys a gaming room tour for December. Uh, the update. Ah, I haven't gotten many new posters. Oh, actually yes, I got this lovely Banjo Kazooie one over there. Fucking lovely. And over here, Conker's Bad Fur Day, two of my favorite games from Nintendo 64. My fiance gave me both of those for my birthday, and that was, was my birthday? Something, but they were fucking brilliant either way. And this poster's actually fallen off the second I've started doing this. It's been fine for months. This beautiful poster here, also a gift. But yeah, my collection has sort of grown. These four shelves here are the games. These are DVDs and that's plush stuff. I'll put it, I'll have a lingering shot on that so you can see all the plush. Uh, that's Pokemon, that's mostly Pokemon. Some Yoshis behind there, Hammer Brothers Kirby. Luigi under there. You can see all those. But yes. First off, most prized possessions, my Nintendo 64s. I'm trying to collect more of them. I've got three colours there, and I've also got uh, the game tower. They go for a pretty high price nowadays for some reason, and of course a few accessories. Uh, amiibos up there. A lot of amiibos up there. I don't think I can get a better look at it, but that's basically all the Smash Brothers amiibos up there. There we go. Look at them all. Crazy. Uh, over here we have some gaming manuals. Uh, the Deluxe Pokemon Handbook. Give you a sort of idea of what that's like. Alphabetical order. First six generations. Of course we've got Donkey Kong Country Returns. Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Black and White 2. Disney Infinity, for some reason. <laughs> Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. And Pokemon Stadium 2. I've also got some manuals for games that I either don't have the boxes to or don't even have the games to, like Donkey Kong Country. Don't worry, I'm working on getting the Donkey Kong Country games. I would not miss out on them. But, uh, yes. Where were we? Okay, so let's look at the games. First here we've got, of course, you can't see anything. Light, please. We've got Pokemon Red, Blue, Yellow, Gold, Ruby and Sapphire. Here's some special edition stuff from Pokemon Sun and Moon. Quickly open one of those and again. Have a look at it. Here we go. These nice, really cool badges that you got with Sun and Moon in the special edition. Over here's my uh, NES stuff. Whoa, I'm in the way. So we've got, you know, Double Dragon, Double Dragon 3, Excite Bike, Rad Racer, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, soccer turned out to just be normal, boring soccer. Super Mario Brothers 1 and 3, and Trog. And look, we've got SNES games. More SNES games. We've even got a boxed one. Boxed Super Mario World. Look at this thing. It is beautiful. Really good condition. And I'm just cramming it in here. That's the Super Game Boy. What is this? Oh, this is a Kirby Shot Trap. Kirby Puzzle Game on the SNES. Hyperzone, Mortal Kombat 3, Super Mario All-Stars. Uh, oh, Super Mario Kart. Actually, this should be like that. Nah. <laughs> uh, and then on oh, the 64, we got Banjo Kazooie, Bomberman 64, Buck Bumble, Conker's Bad Fur Day. Actually, got the PAL version of it. Pretty damn happy with that. We got Diddy Kong Racing, we got Donkey Kong 64, we got a boxed F1 World Grand Champion, we got F Zero X, a fine game, Gold Knife Course. Mario Kart 64, of course. Boxed Mario Party 1. This thing's really cool. Box Mission Impossible, of course. We got uh, some winter sports thing. Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2. Look at that. That's not grey, that's actually silver, if you can see the sparkles. That's Rampage. Rampage on the 64. Rugrats in Paris, the movie box, although the box is a bit shit on that one. Look at this, Snowboard Kids 2. 
Hell yeah! If you don't know how rare Snowboard Kids 2 and Conker's Bad Fur Day are and the PAL and how much I pay for these fucking games, consider yourself lucky, because I laid down a small fortune for those. Like, between those two and Pokemon Stadium 2, which is also rare, probably like $600, about averaging like $200 each, $700 if you include Rampage, so yeah, rare 64 games, mate. Super Mario 64, of course, my favorite game ever. For Rock. And, uh, Vigilante 8, or V8. Oh, yes, and of course, my lovely boxed Yoshi story. I got a few more boxes. I'm so fucking... Like, some of these are the best things in my collection. You know, the Super Mario World box in just such good condition. The Mario Party boxed. Yoshi Story boxed. The fucking box for World 1 Grand Prix is actually in pretty good condition. And over here, we're starting with the GameCube. We've got Mario Kart Double Dash and Mario Party 4. And on the other side, Mario Party 5. It doesn't have a cover. It's, but it is the proper game. It's not, it's not a pirated version of the game, as you can see. It's just that it doesn't have its case. I would not put any uh, pirated, burnt games onto the shelf. Uh, Super Smash Bros. Melee. I don't have much GameCube. I'm going to have to start collecting. That's my GameCube collection. Spanning that little bit there. But uh, we... A, a bit more of a collection here. So we've got Animal Crossing, which is a bit blur. Uh, we got a Bleach game. Bomberman Land Wii. Massively enjoyable game. Uh, Boom Street, also known as Fortune Street. Kirby's Epic Yarn. Completely recommend. Link's Crossbow Training. Honestly, it's about $2 American. If you can find it for that and you don't have it yet, get it. I didn't get it with the Zappa. I already had the Zappa. So I got it for $4 Australian. And Australian currency is like the lowest in the first in the uh, first world so that was really cheap and really fun DK Jungle Beat uh, Naruto Revolution Rayman Origins of course one of the best games on the Wii Super, New Super Mario Bros Wii another of the best games on the Wii Mario Kart Wii Power Tennis Mario Party 8 the only Mario Party game on the Wii Peggy Park 1 and 2 I had to get the um, UK versions of both of these Hence why they don't have the normal rating on them. You can see a lot of these are actually uh, European. Including this one. I got it from an actual shop, not eBay. But yet they didn't really have the Australian one. Look, the PG is just sort of on with a bit of sticker. <laughs> Super Mario Galaxy 1 and 2. Of course, the classics. Super Monkey Ball. Super Paper Mario. I'm one of the people that actually really like this game. Don't judge me. Super Smash Bros. Brawl. The best in the series, in my opinion. Would have been perfect, but they had to fuck it up with the slip mechanics. Oh well. House of Dead 2 and 3 and the House of Dead Overkill. Very solid shooting games. And then of course we got Wii Party, Wii Play, and Wii Sports. Which is normal stuff. I don't have Wii Music. Will I pick it up if I find it cheap? Probably. But I haven't found it cheaper than like $15. And I'm like, nope. <laughs> I'm not paying that much for it. Anyway, here we have the Wii U stuff. Oh. Uh, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Fe Freeze. Uh, it was really fun until I got to a certain boss and then I just got bullshit hard. Uh, Kirby and the Rainbow Paintbrush. Actually very disappointing. I did not like it at all. Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD. Of course, how can I not have this in my collection? Obviously, I need to get the original one for GameCube 2. Mario Kart 8. Mario Party 10. No, I don't have Mario Party 9. I did have it, but back when we were in the habit of not collecting games and just playing them, we got rid of Mario Party 9 because it was the worst in the series. And we just did not enjoy it. New Super Mario Bros. U. If you're wondering why I have Mario Party 10, by the way, still. It's because this was when I started collecting. And, um, it's still bad, but whatever. Nintendo Land, of course. Pit Mario Color Splash. Pit Mario Color Splash. It's so recent of a purchase that I've not even, not even taken the price off. I haven't actually played it yet. I'm trying to find time to play that. Probably, actually, New Year's Day is probably the time I'll get to play that. So, I got work all the other days. Pokemon Tournament, of course. Rabbit's Land, got it for like 10 bucks. I thought, why not? Rayman Legends, one of the best fucking games on the Wii U. You know, seeing a pattern here. And also, so cheap. Such a weird price, too. I've never seen anything be 18 bloody cents. Uh, Splatoon, which was meh. Pretty crappy, in my opinion. I could never actually get to the online stuff, ever. Just would not connect. And before you say, oh, it's you sh shit internet. Well, yes, but... I can connect to other online games, um, obviously, Super Mario Maker I can get onto, and of course on the Xbox, all the Call of Duty stuff, that works, so why not Splatoon? And of course, Super Mario 3D World, a good game on its own, but you can't compare it to 64 Sunshine and Galaxy, 
you just can't. Also, this is here because it doesn't fit on this shelf. This is the only shelf it fits on. This is the special hardened edition of Call of Duty Ghosts. I got this hardened edition complete for 20 bucks because no one likes Call of Duty Ghosts. I also have a download for the game Ride, uh, Rise of Tomb Raider. And I also have this thing for Gears of War that I came with my controller, both for Xbox One. Here's some mugs. Yoshi and uh, Pikachu, for some reason. Here's some codes for Pokemon. Oh, one almost fell off. So that's always fun. Here's a little monster thing. This doesn't have anything to do with games. Lights up, though. <laughs> Oh yes, we do have some more Wii U games down here. We do have Super Smash Bros, Wii U, and Yoshi's Woolly World. Fucking beautiful game. Now, down here are some interesting games. These are my boxed Game Boy Advance games, and the only legit one I have is Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team, an amazing game. Now, I did say I wouldn't have any blank tape games on here, but these aren't really blank tape games. These are actually uh, Pokemon hacks. I've got Pokemon... Acro Iris, Pokemon Chaos Black, and Pokemon Quartz. And I've got Pokemon Brown, which is uh, cartridge only, I don't have a box, and Pokemon Cock coming in the mail. Yes, really. <laughs> moving swiftly on to the Nintendo DS, moving back into focus, we've got uh, more brain training. We've got the Game & Watch collection, really good. Um, I only came with the old... Nintendo reward system that they got rid of and you could get this and the second collection I didn't get the second collection. I didn't get enough time to rack up enough points uh, Kingdom Hearts yeah, It's bleh uh, Mario Luigi Bowser's Inside Story, Mario Kart DS, Pokemon Black, Pokemon Diamond, the best Pokemon game to exist I don't care what you think. This is well, okay. If you think Platinum's the best game to ever exist I'm not gonna argue with you That's the same thing, but you know Improved, so you know, second best, okay. Uh, Pokemon White version, Spider Wick, which I've never played to be honest. Um, Spider Wick and Kingdom Hearts both came in a DS, bundled with a DS I bought. It's never actually played them, I didn't waste money on them either, I guess. They just sort of came with. Uh, Warrior Master of Disguise, I did waste a little bit of money on this, and I was disappointed I couldn't get past the first level, and it was absolute shite. There's the DS, and there's the 3DS. Here's a couple of glaring <laughs> things in the 3DS library. Yes, the special editions of Pokemon Sun and Moon. In there is a steel case and a regular case. And obviously the little things up here. So that's Sun and Moon. Incredibly, the, probably the second best Pokemon games, Sun and Moon, to be honest. Uh, anyway, we've got Mario and Luigi, Paper Jam. I have not had a chance to play that yet. I've been too obsessed with Pokemon Sun and Moon. I got this game like a week beforehand and I also got something else that took up my week and so I've never actually played it. Mario Kart 7, uh, Mario Party Island Tour, decent Mario Party. It didn't keep me entertained for very long and but you know it's decent. Paper Mario Color Splash, the worst Paper Mario in the series, hands fucking down. I have not played, I haven't played uh, Color Splash to be fair, by the way it's Stick Star not Color Splash and I'm an idiot. Haven't played Color Splash but from what I've heard it is better than Sticker Star. New Super Mario Brothers 2, uh, Pokemon Omega Ruby. This has... What is this? Uh, that's where I'm keeping my Pokemon X game, because I lost the uh, cover for it, so that's Pokemon X. I don't know where the cover went. It never left the house. Last time I saw it, it was in my room. I've cleaned both my room and the office here multiple times, and it's never shown up, so I'm very sad. Pokemon Y. Uh, Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon. Very hard game, especially since they drill it very hard into you that you're a child in that game. Like, your whole... The first hour of that game is basically drilling it into you that you're too young to be out and you got to go to school and things, and then it's bullshit hard. I can't even beat it. My cousin can't beat it. And the other person, uh, other friend that I got to try couldn't beat it. So what's a kid got, you know, chance? <laughs> Super Pokemon Rumble, Super Smash Brothers on the 3DS, uh, The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker... 3D remake. Don't tell anyone because they'll kill me, but I think it's better than the original. But I think the original Ocarina of Time is better than the 3D remake. Funny how that goes. Uh, Ultimate NES Remix. Hours of fun. Uh, the 3DS version especially because you actually get like leaderboards and stuff. Get this version instead of the Wii U version. You won't regret it. 3DS version is superior. I'm gonna say that now. Uh, Croc. 
Yes, classic, classic PS1 game, Croc. Uh, Gran Turismo, of course, everyone with a PS1 has Gran Turismo. And uh, Super, uh, Super Sponge? SpongeBob SquarePants Super Sponge. They're my PS1 games. I don't have a very big PlayStation library, but I'm hoping to improve it. Uh, PlayStation 2, we've got Crazy Taxi, Family Guy video game, the Lemony Snicket series of unfortunate events. Me and a mate actually beat that whole game in one night. That was fun. Not saying the game is short. We spent, we put the whole day into that. Silent Hill Origins, which doesn't work, so I'm going to buy that game again. Sonic Gems Collection. I'm not a big fan of Sonic, and this is the only Sonic thing I think I have. On Steam, I have uh, Sonic Racing Transformed, which is actually a good game, and I got Sonic Adventure 2. Uh, I actually got gifted that by a friend uh, for Christmas, and it was really fun. Uh, Simpsons Hit and Run, because that's the best game on the PS2. And Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4. But is it Pro Skater 4? I think this is something else that I just put the disc into. Oh no, it actually is Pro Skater 4. I didn't even know I had that. Shh. <laughs> Moving on to PS3, I do have a bit more of an extensive PS3 collection. We've got Arkham City, of course. We've got Battlefield, Bad Company 2. Uh, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, Black Ops 1 and 2. Call of Duty Ghosts, the regular edition. Again, that only cost me $10 brand new. But it does mean I spent 30 bucks all up on Call of Duty Ghosts. What's wrong with my life? Uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and 3. FIFA 14, I got for free from a friend that didn't want it. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto 4 and 5. And Liberty City Stories and San Andreas, of course. Gran Turismo 5, because how could I not? LA Noir, because I heard it was really good and I like Noir stuff. Mortal Kombat, the complete edition. Need for Speed Undercover, Red Dead Redemption, Resistance 2, Saints Row 2, South Park Stick of Truth, a fucking excellent game, can't wait for the Fractured Butthole to come out, and of course Season 1 of The Walking Dead, Season 2 and 3 I got um, digitally, so I can't display it, which is why I don't like digital games, because I can't display any of them. Look, here's a crappy game, Conspiracy, this thing is just so shoddy in its controls, and its graphics look really bad. And it's like, oh, it's just Xbox. Play Juiced and tell me that's an excuse, because this game's got some fucking excellent graphics. And if you're like, oh, that's a racing game, you can't count that, well then there's fucking Futurama, which looked very good on the Xbox. Fusion Frenzy, which looked even fucking better on the Xbox. This is one of the fucking greats, by the way, Fusion Frenzy. Play that. It is a massively, massively good part of the game. Don't play Fusion Frenzy 2, though. It's a piece of shit. Medal of Honor Frontline. Medal of Honor Rising Sun. One of the best games ever made, SpongeBob SquarePants, Malfit Kini Bottom. You might think I'm joking, but seriously, try it out. I was into it before, it became a speedrunning meme. Super Monkey Ball, Deluxe. Uh, V8 Supercars 2. And then on the Xbox 360, we got a small collection here. We got Call of Duty Black Ops 1 and 2, Modern Warfare 3, Connect Fucking Sports, because I got it for free. Yeah, I got it for free. Naruto, Rise of the Ninja. Sean White Snowboarding. And Sonic Unleashed, one of the worst fucking games to ever be a thing. <laughs> uh, Xbox One, we got Black Ops 3. They got the Hardened Edition. Naruto, Ultimate Ninja Storm 4. Uh, Rare Replay, because how could I not? Rayman Legends, because how could I fucking not? The Jackbox Party Pack. I had to get 2 and 3 on Steam, because in Australia you can't even fucking get the digital downloads for 2 and 3. So, I had to get them on Steam, because Xbox in Australia fucking hates us. So, yeah, Steam did that shit. On PC, we've got Lemony Snicket's Series of Unfortunate Events. Plants vs. Zombies. Actually really fun. We got Pac-Man World 3 in there. We've got the original Rayman, Rayman 2. We've got Outlaw on the Atari 2600 hiding away in there. And on the Mega Drive, or Genesis if you want to call it, we got... Super Monero in there. These aren't my games. We got Yoshi's Island on the GBA. Here are my loose Game Boy things. We got Kirby's Dreamland 2. That's fun. Super Mario and the Golden Coins. That's fun. Uh, Harry Potter RPG for the Game Boy Color. It's getting too dark for even me to see. I right, Super Mario World, Pirates of the Caribbean, some shitty Shrek game, Sonic 3. And an R4 chip for some reason, which I forgot I had. I don't even think it's got anything on it, so don't sue me, Nintendo. And yeah, let me have a quick look at my collection of things like 
Seinfeld and Simpsons and Rugrats and Malcolm and Ed and Eddie and all that cool stuff. South Park. But yeah, this isn't about my TV show thing. This is about my video game collection. But wait, we haven't even seen the consoles yet. As I sneeze. Yeah. Yes, because what is all these games without the consoles to play it on? We've already seen the Nintendo 64s. Well, down here, that's not my Xbox 360. Mine's over there. That is my Xbox One, though. That's currently hooked up. But here is where all the consoles are. We're currently moving stuff, so it's a bit behind the couch. But that's okay. We squeeze in here. Oh. Now over here, we've got the original NES system, uh, the NES top loader, and something called a retro entertainment system, which will play your NES games and is dusty. Because I, even though I dust this every week, it seems to absorb fucking dust, this section here. It's my Super Nintendo. My GameCube, I got the black one. I need to get an original purple one too. My Wii, it doesn't read discs anymore. I think people are having the same problem as me where it doesn't really read discs. But I've got a few digital downloads on it still, so I can't, I can't replace it. My Wii U's, that one's completely broken down the bottom. I got two. Yeah, the one down the bottom's completely fucking broken. And I can't transfer my digital downloads because I can only link my Nintendo ID to one Wii U. So fuck you. And down here... We've got the Game Boy Pocket. Now this one has a an etching on it, a custom made etch. There you go, a little Charizard down there. It's this uh, red refurbished Game Boy Pocket. We got ourselves a nice pink Game Boy Color. Uh, this isn't my GBASP, but I've got a gold GBASP coming in the mail. Hopefully today or tomorrow. This is my cousin's, he's got a red one. And a Game Boy Advance, a regular one. It's very finicky. If you touch the game at all or shake it too much, the game will freeze. Over here, on my DS console's got a two DS lights. One that works, one that doesn't. Very simple. <laughs> a DSi XL. A regular 3DS here. It's just a regular black one. Special Edition Yoshi 3DS. And the Special Edition Pokemon Red 2DS. Really hope this shows up later on the computer. Here we got the PlayStation 1. Down there we got the PlayStation 2s, both the slim and the fat. PlayStation 3, of course. Uh, I got like four Xboxes. I don't know if any of them actually work. A couple of them do, because I played Juiced and Fusion Frenzy on them. That's my Xbox 360. It doesn't play discs anymore either, but I do have digital downloads on it, like Banjo Kazooie. Uh, that's where the Xbox One would go. That's the Mega Joy 2 and the uh, plug and play Sega Master System thing, which doesn't play my Super Monero, so bastards to it. And down there, I've got a couple more slots for whenever I bother to buy a PS4, and I'll move everything down when I get a PS4, and a Nintendo Switch when I bother to get a Nintendo Switch. There's some boxed amiibos, there's some posters, and that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed my little ramble on the games I've gotten. I've gotten a few more since the last time I did this. So I thought I'd show them off. And, um, you know, in a few months when I've kept the collection's grown a bit more, to take up maybe all six of the shelves, I'll do another video. But until then, whew, thank you again so much for 1,000 subscribers. It really means a lot to me. And I hope you enjoy whenever Duck Life Space comes out.